What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Spectre Gear Moat Sling. I was recently at the range with a friend and I actually had uh, forgotten the one sling I wanted to use and uh, he actually gave me this to uh, just give it to me basically and you know I used it for that day. There's some high points, there's some low points, so let's get down to them. So as you can see it does employ a buckle system. I'm not a huge fan of buckle systems because why? Because at the worst time they'll come off and that's no exception with the Spectre gear because the buckle on this is extremely um, cheap as far as the design in my opinion because when you take this off you can see just how easy it is to manipulate this buckle. Okay, Very easy and the actual tension that it takes to actuate it is extremely light. So, you know, I actually, you know, through talking with Joe Teddy, amazingly, he brought up the same fact when I was talking to him about some tactical stuff in one of the interviews I was doing. You know, he's seen people in action have this come off, you know, any kind of buckle system that's out there or clip uh, system. You know, he said he's seen people time and time again have these just pop off at the worst time, which means your gun is now no longer attached to you. And that's not something that you want to happen. And a Spectre Gear Sling is no exception with the actual buckle that they've chosen is definitely of a, uh, you know, less quality and, you know, design than what some others are on the market. So as far as the actual design though, I like the webbing that's used here. This is good thick webbing and, you know, it's attached with uh, some good bar tacks here. Uh, are they the best in the, in the business? No, you can see that, you know, this one's kind of off as far as, you know, it's not on, it's not a straight line, if you will. It's kind of like, all right, we're done. You know, if they spend a little bit time, more time on the slings, I think they could definitely be up there with some of the other ones on the market. Now their attachment to the device is this smaller webbing, which I also like as well, because on the AK, like I use, I can actually get it through the AK mount rather easily just by folding it in half and bringing it out the other side and attaching it like such. So I do like the fact of what they use. Um, I wish they would, you know, bar tack things a little bit better. And, um, but as far as the materials used here, I really like this material. This material is pretty good. What I think would be a great upgrade is for them to actually to use metal hardware. You know, use a metal buckle, uh, metal buckle or even a better, you know, plastic buckle. And uh, right here is where a lot of tension is gonna be. Um, and I personally do not really trust uh, plastic. And when you compare it, to something like this, uh, this one from VTAC, you can see that the VTAC one is definitely, you know, it's it's a heavier duty um, webbing adapter. You know, I forget what the actual technical term is for this, but you can see that's, you know, it's it's definitely thicker. Okay, so I think they can use a little bit better materials. It's definitely going to increase the price, um, which I don't have a problem with because this is on the lower end as far as prices go. But for them to use those, I think they would definitely create more of a you know, bomb proof so design um, because this buckle right here is extremely easy to actuate, which means in the worst case scenario, it's gonna pop off. I can almost guarantee it. I'd put money on that fact right there. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the gun. So as you can see, I have it attached right here at the end of the uh, buttstock. I don't have it attached to the actual direct uh, connection right here. It's on uh, AK-47s and 74s, etc., because that's gonna be right in your mouth. And you know, I don't like it in my mouth. A lot of people don't like it in their mouth, but I really don't like it in my mouth. Put it on, make sure I don't bump the microphone like a professional. And then as you can see here, you know, very easy to operate. It's a single point sling. Single point slings are the easiest thing to even, you know, use, you know, period. Um, you know, as far as the actual, you know, use of it, you know, you can move, maneuver it around. I can go from this shoulder to this shoulder with no problem, okay? You know, it's really easy to, uh, to maneuver around because it's a one point sling. Like I said though, you know, when it comes to actually having to use two hands for things and such, you know, just like Joe Ted I said about, you know, coming down a rope, you know, he saw someone actually drop, their gun actually fell to the ground and off of them because, you know, they had a buckle system employed. They had a fast tax employed. And, you know, that's one thing that, you know, I don't want to happen. And for me, what I'm probably going to be doing, if I could ever get this in, can never find the hole. There we go. <laughs> as far as, you know, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some epoxy and actually putting it on the buckle clips right here. That way I know that it's not going to come off at the worst time. Um, you know, I haven't used it a super amount. I've used it, you know, for probably a good, maybe 300 rounds or so, this sling. Can I say it works? Obviously it works. Still, in, still intact. Doesn't have a problem there. Could they improve on it? They definitely could. As far as the materials, you know, if they use metal materials or even, 
you know, better plastic grade materials. Um, I think they'd uh, have a much better product. And I think if they did a little bit better stitching, they'd also have a much better product. It is made in America, uh, amazingly. And uh, so that's a positive. So if you're looking for an American made, relatively cheap option, I think Spectre gear would definitely be the way you would like to go. The price can increase you know, as much as it needs to because there's other things in the market that people are obviously buying that are more expensive, like the VTAC sling, which is easily $40. You know, people are buying this stuff, you know, MS3 slings, they're buying this stuff because they're buying quality. And I think that people overlook that, you know, think, oh, I think it's something cheap, when in reality, if you just bought something once that was more expensive, you'd have that for the rest of your life. So I think that's one thing that has to be looked at. But as far as this sling goes, you know, I think it's a pretty decent sling. I think uh, if, you're, if you're in that market, where you're looking for a cheap option for a sling, I think, uh, you know, this is gonna get the job done for you no matter what, and, uh, you know, pretty all around decent sling that could use some improvements that would make it, you know, a really great sling. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have a Spectre Gear moat sling, go ahead and put it in the comments or better yet, make a video response. Until next time, later. Recently got it from my uh, friend. We were at the range and I didn't have my gun with me. Well, I had my gun with me. I didn't have my damn sling. Let's restart. That sounds like a great idea. Um, it might even Christ the priest. It's going to definitely increase the priest because the priest is important.